In this video, I want to show you how you can use your webcam inside the Linux WSL distribution. There are two ways how to do it and I will show you both. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video you can find down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. Now let's start with the first method, how to use a webcam inside WSL. In this video we will use a simple USB webcam. And since at the time of recording USB devices are not supported out of the box in WSL, we will need to install some additional components. On this official Microsoft website there is an article how you can connect any USB device to your WSL distribution. You will need to use a tool called USB IPD. I also used this tool in a previous video where I explained how to connect your USB device with an ext4 partition to your WSL distribution and we also went through the whole page and installed all dependencies. So if you're interested how to install the tool, how to set everything up in WSL and mount an ext4 partition in WSL, then you can check out my previous video, the link should be somewhere up there or down in the description. In this video I will assume that you already installed all the dependencies from this page here and that you're already good to go. So let's go over to PowerShell and let's see how to use the tool. Here I have the PowerShell console as administrator and let's write USB IPD WSL list and enter. This will give you the list of USB devices that you can attach to WSL. Now let's open another WSL window. I'm inside my WSL distribution. I will just dock my windows. If you want to know how to dock windows like this, I made a video about it and you can find the video link up there or down in the description. Now inside WSL, let's see if there are any USB devices attached, ls USB. Currently we have nothing attached. Now let's try to attach the HD webcam here. In PowerShell, write USB IPD WSL attach dash dash bus ID and the ID we want to attach, which is in my case 1-4. So 1-4 and enter. Alright, now let's check WSL again, LSUSB. And we can see the HD webcam is currently attached. Let's see if we can recognize the device. There should be a video entry with a number back here. And star just means list them all. Let's see. Unfortunately there is no video entry and that means that the webcam was not recognized. And that means that the Linux driver for this webcam is missing. We had a similar situation in the previous video with the USB storage driver and the solution was adding the driver to the kernel by building it from source and then using this new kernel. In this video we will do the same thing for the webcam driver. So first let's check out the kernel that we are using. Uname dash A 5.15.57 Microsoft WSL2 kernel. So let's find the source of that one. This is the official Microsoft WSL2 kernel GitHub. And here let's go to releases. And the latest one is already the one we are looking for. So let's build this one in WSL. Clear everything. And first let's install some dependencies. I will copy them over from my cheat sheet. You can find all the commands down in the description. And install. Alright, let's clear again. And now I will create a directory inside user source and go inside there. Now I will create a variable called version and this one will hold the kernel version. Paste it here, enter. And now let's clone the repository for this version. I will copy the command from my cheat sheet and paste it in and execute. Now this can take some time. All right, we downloaded the source and we are also inside the source folder. Now in here we need to copy the configuration from the current kernel inside the source folder and unzip it and also the file should be named .config. If I scroll up, here it is, .config. And now let's open the configuration menu config. But first make the window full screen and enter. So this is the current kernel configuration and in here we want to add the webcam driver to it. So what we are searching for is device drivers, then multimedia support. This one is not included, so press space to include it as module and then again space. Now you should see a star and that means that this will be built as a built-in kernel module. So the drivers will be built in into the kernel and that's what we want. Now let's go inside here, enter. 
In here, we want to include filter media drivers. So again, space to include it. Then go inside media device types, enter. Here we want camera and video grabbers. So space to include it. Now let's go to exit. Then we need video for Linux options. And in here, we will include the sub device user space API. This should be enough, exit. And then media drivers. Here we want media USB adapters, space and enter to go inside. And now this is the most important one. We want a USB video class, UVC, space to include it. We want it as a built-in module. And just in case, we will also add the GSPCA webcam support. So again, space and space again. And that's about it. We can exit and exit again, exit. Do we want to save? Yes, we want. The source is configured. Let's just dock the window again. And now let's build the kernel, write sudo make-j, the number of threads, and let's build. Enter. Now this can take some time. All right, build complete. Now let's do sudo make modules underline install dash j, the number of threads, enter. And again, sudo make install dash j and the number of threads, enter. Now let's see what we've got, ls dash al. Here it is, this is the new kernel image. And now let's copy that one over to the Windows C drive on the sources, enter. All right, we are done in WSL, now we can exit. And also what I will do in PowerShell, I will do on WSL dash dash shutdown. Now here in the Explorer, I can see the previously built kernel image. And now we want to set this one as the WSL kernel. Go to your user folder. Now inside your user folder, create a file called .wslconfig if it isn't already there. So here is my config file because we already created that file in the previous video and open it. This is how it should look like. So you should have a WSL2 header and then this line is the important one. You should point your kernel to your build kernel image. So with that config file, WSL will run this kernel image. So let's try this out, close this. Now let's open WSL again. Now let's try to attach again the HD webcam. Attached. Let's check WSL. LS USB. Yes, here it is. But do we recognize the device? Is there any video entry? And yes, there are two entries, video 0 and video 1. That means that the driver is working properly. And that also means that WSL is using the new kernel that we built previously. Now let's use the webcam. I will install some additional tools v4l utils and guvc view install all tools are installed so let's try to do sudo guvc view let's see if the camera works enter so it took a while to show it but here it is with 23 fps and you also get this settings panel here let's move this to the left where you can adjust the brightness the contrast saturation and so on now let's try to record a video, go to video, file, I'm in as the root user so it will try to save the video inside the root folder, but I actually want it inside my user folder. Here I will create an empty folder called videos and I want to save it inside this videos folder, save. And now let's try to record, capture video. So we are done here, we can close this, now let's find the recording. Inside Linux, Ubuntu, home, my user, videos folder. Here it is. Let's try it out. Play. All right, it's working. Let's close that and let's also play it inside WSL. But first, let's install a tool called FFmpeg. It is already installed in my distribution. And now let's do ffplay and the path to my video file and play. All right, it's working. Let's close it. And that's all for this video. I showed you how you can use your webcam by adding a driver to the kernel. This was a bit more complicated, but in the end it worked. But there is also a different way how you can use your webcam in WSL. And I will show you this in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me. It makes the channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.